Facebook Live, we have arrived. Pastor Derek Mann here on the um, evening scripture study on this 11, on, on 11 5, November 5th, 2018. As you see, I'm a little discombobulated, but we're finna get it together. Um, let's go to uh, Matthews 26. And uh, 36, 26 and 36. Big Ben in the building. Keith Doss, man, Cole's in the building. Nicole. Shalom, shalom. Let me do this right quick. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got that right there. Let me see. Let me, see. Let me grab this right quick. Because I do want to teach this sometime real soon. <sighs> T Million, what's up, man? Shalom, Coles, what's up with the family? A little tired, but um, we're going to get it in. That's what we do. That's what we do. Big Mark Cox in the building. Getting it in, y'all. Minimize this. Let's go here. Let me type in 36 right here, y'all. Now we finna get it in. Miss Foster. I know we gotta finish our uh our business meeting. Um potentially after, it just depends on all what I got going on. What's up, nephew? I need to holler at you too. Um, nephew. Anyway, Matthews tw 26 and 36. My children, man. Jazz. Jazz. I'm about to teach, okay? Talk to mama, okay? But she, not right now. It's not a conversation we're going to have right now. I'm about to teach. Matter Yahoo 26 and 36, y'all. I believe I prayed. Let's get in the word. Nicole Don, good to see you on. Look what it said. It said, then come in Yahusha with them onto a place called uh, Gethsemane. And said unto his, uh, his uh, disciples... Hello, Mother, Mother Katie. Um, I'll start over. Then cometh Yahushua with them into a place called Gethsemane and said unto his disciples, sit, sit ye here while I go and pray. And he took with him uh, Peter, Cephas, y'all, and, and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful uh, and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed and said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will I apologize y'all on the line I was reading and everything and y'all was on mute so I apologize we we had Matt we had Matthews 26 and 36 uh, through uh, of, of 39 I'll read it again for you guys and I apologize look what it say then come Yahushua with them onto a place called Gethsemane and said unto his disciples sit ye here while I go and pray uh, why go pray yonder? And he took with him Peter and two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorry, sorrowful, and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, uh, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, 
but as thou will. Okay. Um. In in Philippians it says, "Let this mind be in you that was also in in the Messiah." I guess I guess I'm I, I guess I'm willing right to be like a spokesperson right for the Most High. Kind of not trying to be a motivational speaker. Um, sharpen my oratorical skills so that um, I can just hear myself run my mouth. That's just not the business, right? A coat reader be Kimyana. Um, but prayerfully, you know, the word goes forth and and and, and really begin the, the, the transformation process, right? Keeping things in its proper perspective, right? Let this mind be in you that was also in in the in the in the Messiah, in the Mashiach, right? So in, in, in other words, um, Miss Jackson, bless you. But in other words, what he did, we should do. We're his followers. We're, we're the example. We should be going, everyone that listened to me should be going through a transformation process and getting better. At least that's my goal. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste yours. Um, a sword went to sow, so I'm, I'm commissioned to preach. But at the end of the day, we want it to be effective. So we got to play by the rules, right? And all you're getting, get an understanding. So understand this, that um, he was, um, he was, uh, he was exemplifying exactly what we should do. That's why it's written. He said, these work will you, will you do in greater. Don't disassociate yourself from his suffering and his position. I said all that just to say that. Do not make the mistake of disassociating yourself from his position and what he went through. We love to like look at him and marvel like, wow, what a man. And we like to do that in the spirit of, I ain't like that. You ain't doing a barab in yourself because great is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We got to somehow let the mind that was in the Messiah, his actions and how he lived, be in us. So here we are. He's teaching his disciples, but you got to understand this, right? That you got to understand the difference between being carnal and spiritual because it's a big difference. When a person is carnal and they don't have the spirit of Yah in them, then they don't have the power. See, your power came after he baptized himself inside of you. You didn't have the power. You didn't need the power to accept him. You need the power to keep him. You didn't need the power from a human standpoint. You can accept him. But backing it up and keeping your word is impossible for a carnal-minded person. You need his power. You need him to baptize himself inside of you. You need the helper, the comforter to lead and guide you in order to successfully become obedient to him. And you need to know that. So, the power came after his death, burial, and resurrection. Because then he was able to... Uh, uh, send the body back up or, or resurrect the body. And then he came without the body in, in spirit form. He came without the body in spirit form to baptize himself inside of us, giving us power. That didn't happen yet. He still was completing the mission of salvation to rescue us. So that hadn't happened yet. Nobody that was with him in, in, in Gethsemane had the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of the Most High living in them. Nobody. They were carnal. They were carnal believers. They believed him. They followed him. But they did not have the Ruach HaKadosh in them. Peter had a reason why he sold him out. Because he didn't have the spirit yet. They, they were carnal. They were being taught. And just like 
someone first coming uh, 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 to a ministry. If it's a good ministry, they're being discipled and they're following, but that don't mean they have the spirit. They don't have the power to change. Some folks will come and listen to the word, go back, finish smoking their cigarettes, drinking their gin and cussing and enjoy the service and really mean the most high well, but they have to get to a breaking point that they're willing and ready to divorce themselves, to be baptized into his death, to rise up, to walk in the newness of life. Dear, in the building. What's up, family? And that's what it's all about, right? Knowing the difference. You got to know the difference because it's going to help you understand this, right? So he's asking them to, you know, stay up with me and pray. It was a stressful, it was stressful as heck, man. It's a stressful situation. They so stressed. You know, you know, they 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 they, they fell asleep. They it was heavy. I just need to sleep this off. He was heavy and sorrowful unto death. His stress level would have killed him had he had sin in his life. Had he had sin in his life, Harold Myers, what's up, my friend? Had he had sin in his life, the wages of sin is death. He never sinned before. So even the stress of the flesh couldn't kill him. If somebody would have shot him, he wouldn't have died because he never sinned. The ways of sin is death. Wasn't no sin in his life. The most high wouldn't let you kill him and he couldn't die because he, he the punishment for going against the creator is what brought sin on the scene in the first place. So he's sorrowful unto death. I want you to hear that. He's sorrowful unto death. He said, my soul is exceedingly sorrowful even unto death. Terry here, watch with me. He needed some company. He needed some encouragement because he was robed as a man. Being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself. He was tabernacled in flesh. Born of a virgin, he was a human being. Word made flesh. Reduced himself, made himself a little lower, lower than angels to, to be on our level. He came on our level to rescue us. What a man. Huh. My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even on the death. Terry, you hear and watch with me, he said, right? And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, let's get deep, y'all. Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. It was impossible for the cup to pass from him because he said, if it be possible, please believe me, the most high honored him to the fullest. And if it was possible to save man without that happen, happening, it would have did it. But you got to understand that Yah is our very life. He is the creator of all and he's our very life. And going against life brings death. So it was impossible for man to escape. See, he came in the volume of the book and his mission was to rescue us. Was it possible for him not to die on that tree? Of course, he never sinned. But it wasn't possible for him to rescue us because we was condemned. A man got us in this mess and it took a man to get us out. A man got us into this mess by going against the creator. So it took a man to get us out. He was the second Adam to come get us out. Is it possible? He said, Father, if it be possible, you think the most high would tell him no? He wouldn't deny him nothing. The, 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 the Messiah never went against him, ever. He came in the ballroom of the book to do what was written of him. It's in Hebrews. And he did exactly that. He said, the father hear me always. And he knew, he said, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. It wasn't possible. There's some things that we got to go through to get to where we going. And sometimes there are things that we don't, man, probably all the time, there's some things that we don't want to go through. Um, in order to make it like I'm, I'm cutting all the church stuff off this, right? You can believe them liars if you want to, but, but I'm going to kill that church state of mind if you mess with me because 
you know, that churchy state of mind robs you of you being able to grit your teeth and do what it takes to really live this life. Fake, that, that, that fake Catholicized lie that causes you not to be willing to suffer to the necessary level it takes in order to live this life. You got to be willing to give up any and everything for him. Any and everything. How, look at this. He told Abraham to give me your son. That's some any everything type stuff. Because some people would rather die before their child do. And he waited a long time for that son. His whole inheritance was wrapped up into that son. And he said, give him to me. So you got to get this. What, you think we churchy now? Is that what you think? To the point we ain't got to sacrifice to that level? Well, then you're deceived. And you ain't going to do it either. If the test get hard enough, you're going to flunk. Because you're too churched out. I'm all churched out. <laughs> Being churched out ain't going to help you. You're going to you gonna need the Ruach HaKadet. You're going to need his spirit. And you're going to need to know uh, what's required. He was stressed the heck out to the point that his, 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 his blood vessels was busting and coming out of his sweat glands. He was sweating blood. He was so stressed out. He would have flatlined. His, his heart would have stopped beating had he had any sin in his life because he was a dead man walking. He was done. And he asked him to tarry with me. Come on, somebody. He was stressed out. He went a little fur further, fell on his face, and prayed. When he was going through it heavy, he brought it to the most high. He wasn't looking for a side door. He wasn't looking to hear nothing from, from Satan. He wasn't checking the zodiac to see what the stars had to say and all that old crazy stuff. You got Israel and believers running around here checking with Torah cards and getting their palm red and want to see what the zodiac talking about. If y'all don't go on with that foolishness, the zodiac ain't got the world hanging in the air on nothing. You wasn't fearfully, wonderfully made by no doggone Torah card, a witch, somebody with a crystal ball and, and soothsaying. Come on, y'all. Y'all better quit playing. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Sagittarius. What is you talking about? You better be saved. You better be a son or a daughter of the Most High. He went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. But I like his conclusion. Nevertheless, not as I will. Not, not my will. Not as I will. Remember the word was made flesh, being found fashioned as a man? That was his humanity talking 100%. Not as I will. Can we, can we get to the point? It's necessary, but I'm still going to ask you, can you? You can if you want to, but you got to love him like, like that in order to do what I'm talking about right now. But can we get to the point? Can we get to the point that we can say, not my will? Not my will. Can we say that? Not my will. Meaning, not my love life. Not my finances. Not my emotions, how I feel about it. Not how I want to do it. Not my will. Not too many people willing to do that. People ain't running around and talking about not my will. Folks talking about my will. Mr. Rice, thanks for chiming in. People talking about my people. People cuss, get drunk, high club, freak, sneak, peek. Because it's their will. And we got a will to do not line up with the most high. We got to learn how to become students. With a purpose, not a student to be a, a, a headstrong. The Greeks seek after knowledge. The Jews want a sign, right? We got to be the type of person that we're studying to show ourselves approved. Not studying just to learn the word, but studying to show ourselves approved. We're studying ourselves. We're studying the word to make the necessary changes so we can be approved before the Most High. Are y'all getting this? We want to be approved before the Most High. So we're studying the Word. Not my will. Our will 
robs us from walking in our calling. And our will is the excuses of why we do what we do or why we don't do what we should do. It's two-sided. There's some things we ought to stop doing. And it's also some things we ought to start doing. There's some things that we should have been stopped doing. And there's some things we should have been start doing. We want that uh, crock pot type, crock pot type of salvation. Please be patient with me. Okay, that's cool. You know, you just better pray that 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 the Yah is being patient with you. Redeeming the times is what he said. For the days is evil. We running out of time. If we spend a lot of our time ignoring him. And being religious, having a form of yawning denying the power thereof, is that wasted time? And now we want to, now that we finally woke up, now we want him to slow down and wait on us. When he called you a long time ago. But when he called you a long time ago, you was too high to listen. You was too drunk to listen. You was getting spanked up and rubbed too tough to listen. So now you want to slow it down for your pay. Redeeming the times, the word said. Redeeming, taking advantage of, uh, 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 fulfilling, utilizing the time. Redeeming the times for the days of evil. Not taking it for granted. Why in his head that song tomorrow? Who promised you tomorrow? He said, I'll give my life tomorrow. He said, what about today? Because tomorrow might be too late. I was hollering tomorrow. Who, who on here got a guarantee for tomorrow? You going to get your life together tomorrow? He said, today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Today you hear my voice, harden not your heart. When I look down, y'all, just so you know, someone called me and I chimed them in. That's what be happening. But today you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Because it ain't... Look, eternal life is coming to give itself to you right now because you don't know when your life go in. So, 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 so eternal life is presented to you to accept right then, tell you the truth. When he stand at the door and knock, he knocking, he said, uh, he did hear, you know, with the ear to adhere. I, I'm listening to do it. I'm listening to live it. I'm listening to obey, and y'all will come and, and, and tell you to do something that can change your whole entire life, change the course of your life. Man, that would have changed your life if he told you to kill your son. That's some life-changing type stuff. Whatever plans Abraham had with his son, that's a little iffy right now. Had he not had the faith he had, but he believed that he could resurrect him and give him back. Come on, somebody. Isaac would have kicked his old butt, too. <laughs> He'd have turned around and whoop old Abe. He was a big old young, strong man. Abe was uh, uh, over 100 years old. He'd have turned around and worked old Abe if he wanted to, but he was obedient. He cooperated. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Father, if it be possible, if it be possible, if you ever want to do it another way, I'm tired of being single. I'm tired of being lonely. I'm tired of being married and lonely. I'm tired of, I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of, I'm tired. I need, I want to just do me. I deserve a break today. I need, if it be possible, don't be surprised when the most I say, no, you got to go through this. You got to go. Look at this. When the words say, if any man come after me, let him deny himself and take up his straw. So I know the King James Version say cross. Okay, y'all. But take up your torture stake and follow me, right? The torture stake represents whatever your, your life circumstances. Who you were born to. Who your neighbors was. Your financial situation. Your, your features, your, your handicaps, your shortcomings, I don't know. Being molested, or fo folks in jail, one dead, adopted, I don't know what, what the plight is. Whatever your, your, your torture stake is, take it up because he can give you the power to carry it. 
No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And the weapons we talk about are spiritual. You're not talking about no natural stuff. We'd be too natural. No circumstance formed against you will prosper when you belong to him. He will even give you a new attitude because things we complain about, we wouldn't complain about them if we was in love. Because when we were in love with them, they put us through some problems and we was willing to happily go through the problem because we was that sprung. Well, we're supposed to love the most high with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And if you love him like that, man, then giving just don't hurt as bad. In fact, it don't hurt at all. It's my pleasure. Like we was doing when we was breaking bread for a young lady, wasn't we? If it be possible, my circumstance, if it be possible, let this cup pass me. If it be possible, if I was born to some other folk, if my spouse didn't act like this, if my finance, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. And the most high be like, you want me to change the circumstances, don't you? And we'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, but no, I actually came so I can change you. Circumstances is cool. You don't want need to change. Oh, it gets hot. It gets hot, y'all. Count it all joy when you fall into divers' temptation. Where did joy come from with divers' temptation? That means many problems. Count it all joy because you know something. You know what's going on. Come on, somebody. You know what's going on. You can count it all joy. If it be possible, let the cuss pass me. Remember in Hebrews 11, or 12, he said, who for the joy that was set before him endured the straws, the torture state, who for the joy. There was a joy that he had that gave him the power to overcome the torture of the torture state. There was a joy. He had a reason. He was so in love with the most high, it made it worth it. He was sweating blood. He was stressed the heck out. Based on the pain and the problems he was going to face by doing what the Most High told him to do. But who for the joy that was set before him endured it? Y'all got children? Because mine is getting on my nerves. I love them though. He's not <laughs> Who for the joy that was set before him? He had a reason to endure. Have you have you tasted and see the yah's good? Is he worth like leaving somebody you shouldn't be sleeping with, right? Knowing you're gonna be lonely, you're gonna be hugging the pillow. Is he worth that? I know I would that this cup passed from me. Can I keep him, yah? I would that this cup passed from me. He said, no, no. Some folks say, well, you're going to have to go then, y'all. <laughs> some of y'all scandalous and some of y'all just heck of religious. Y'all, you just going to have to go. And he's going to start telling people, he know my heart. He sure do. It's poison. You scandalous and you a sellout. So go on and finish getting spanked. And if you belong to him, let him spank. Let the old cat daddy spank you because y'all definitely is. And you ain't going to like it when he do it. Because if we judge ourselves, we ain't going to be judged. But when we when he got to judge us, that's when he say he going to chastise you. That you won't be condemned with the world. He don't want you to suffer. He don't want the wrath. His wrath, when it really come, he don't want to hit you in the face with it. You don't want to see that. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. You think devil, the devil's bad. You don't want to see Yah about nothing on no dumb stuff. Believe it. Y'all don't get crazy and put y'all out talking about y'all. I want to keep him. Could this cup pass for me? Y'all, I, I finally got her. I need her. I would that this cup pass for me. This is your flesh talking. This was his. This is his humanity talking. I would that this cup pass for me. And he wasn't even dealing with sin or some evil. He was dealing with what he had to go through for us. It wasn't even about him. He could have just said, you know what, I'm out of here. But he did that for us. And we'd be so sellout. Can we admit we'd be sellout sometimes? He said, I would that you be hot or cold, but since you look warm, you kind of like wishy-washy. You kind of got a bunch of scriptures and a bunch of love. 
dumb stuff. You kind of like, kind of lightweight spiritual and then kind of like freaky as I don't know what. Which one is you? You kind of confusing. You kind of like saved, but still a Mac? What? A gangster? What is you? Gangster or what is you? We got a friend. I would you just come past me? The answer is no. I'm not going to change your circumstances. I'm going to change you. But he concluded, and that's what we got to do. Remember, let this mind be in you. We got to do the same thing. Nevertheless, not as I will. I'm not messing with me, man. Not as I will. Not how I want to do it. Not, not I can't do me. Not as I will. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I wouldn't be preaching eight times a week if it was up to me. And I'd be listening to the ghetto boys. Y'all remember the ghetto boys? With Bo little Bushwick Bill, little dude. Running around acting like a little cussing baby. He looked like a 75-year-old baby running around cussing with some cigarettes. I, yeah. I'd be on something else. I wouldn't deny myself. If it was up to me, the will of the flesh, not my will. The will of the flesh is cold, y'all. Ain't it? Ain't it? The, the will of the flesh, what you really want to do. Hey, your marriage will be gone with the wind. Y'all remember that? Your marriage will be gone with the wind, boy. <laughs> I'm out of here like last year. You hear me? <laughs> you better feel me. Can you smell me? We'd be cussing and fighting and shooting. And, and come on, y'all. That's why it's not my will. Our will is cold, y'all. Our, our, our will is so, come on, y'all. Not my will. Can't do me. Not my will, but thy will be done. Because it's cold. Can you say that, though? It's so, this way different from church, ain't it? <laughs> hey, it's different from the camps, too. Because we want to get stuck in eschatology. Please don't get me wrong. Eschatology is super important to find out who you is because that's going to help our self-esteem and then we're going to be able to run this last leg that we can fit to run when the bombs start flying, when it get real ugly. They coming for us, but they're not going to be able to get us like they want. They would have been got us. They've been trying to kill us. They've been trying to kill us. I'm, I don't care who you married to and all that. I'm not getting into that. I'm saying that the system of the kidnap. The, the people that got us, the ones that keep targeting us and rescuing us and killing us and setting our children up to put them in the system and striking them and dogging them out and putting stuff in the food and just, just targeting us. They're targeting us now. I feel the heat because I'm in the skin. In the skin I'm in, I feel it. Do you, everyone don't feel it. Everyone don't understand. Folk, folks ain't tripping like that. Some of the folks is the part of the doggone problem, a beneficiary of the supremacy. But going deeper than that, I'm not putting that to the side. But what I am saying is I'm preaching in a way that any and everybody, no matter what skin complexion you is, can be saved. That's both uh, 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 Hebrews, Israel, or Gentile. Get your soul right. Get your, get, you get saved. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven, forget their sins, and heal their land. And only if my people, look, we need his protection. Look, if we, I'm going there now, y'all, but if we have to pay, if we were shipped into slavery according to Deuteronomy 28, right? If you read it and study it, we was going to be the head and not the tail. We was going to be above all nations and not beneath. But in the 15th uh, verse, he, he threatened us uh, right after that on down, all curses, curses, curses that fit only one people. And the conclusion was you was going to be shipped into the four corners of the earth, earth to be sold as slaves. And that only happened to one people on the planet. 
in, in Psalms 83 said they was going to conspire together to make, to make sure that Israel be a nation no more. They jacked us for our identity and flipped the game on us. But why did the most high allow that to happen? Sin. So it's time for us to wake up. You want the real wake up? We, we, well, we got the, we got the, the hapla together, the blood type. Well, we done found the maps. Yeah. They've been lying about everything. History, school. They got us all locked up, teaching us some bull crap. Seminary schools, they controlled it all. That. They got us whooped in the head, right? But the, one of the main problems is you've been Catholicized. You got a form of yelling that's denying the power thereof. It's called the doctrine of Balaam. Balaam, Balaam, Balak wanted to curse Israel because he was scared of them. He was scared of Yah, and he wanted to destroy them. So he went to, to Balaam to get him to curse them because he was a, 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 a prophet. And he wanted him to curse him. But, but every time he went to curse him, he had to bless him because they belonged to the Most High. He was trying to curse him, but he couldn't. The Most High wouldn't let him. He was blessing him. He was forcing it, blessing them. So finally, Balaam told Balak, this is what you do. You get them to sin. And now we run around here to the point that the most high can't even really recognize us. We so doggone to up. We got low self-esteem. We've been dogged out and raped. Lied to, lied on. Just all the crap they've been doing to us. They still doing framing us, shooting us legally. They shoot us and go to Disneyland. Getting paid. It's big business to shoot a nigga. <laughs> Straight up. And nigga's not bad. Niger, nigger, right? Niger. That's where we from. Negro land. Nigeria. Niggerian. Yeah. But it's a byword now. It's negative. We slanged it and put nigga on it. But it's big business for the police to shoot a nigga. You finna get that house and a vacation. You finna get paid. You finna be what they call what? Uh, uh, what they call it? What, what's their little punishment with pay? What they call it? I forget what they call it. Suspended with pay? <laughs> you suspend me with pay? Thank you. What? And then get a GoFundMe? It's big business. So what is the solution? You better figure it out. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, I'm going to get off that so heavy, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sliding off of it like this. Ezekiel 37 say, can them dry bones live? The answer is yes. He said, prophets. He said, prophet, talk to the dead bone. They waking up. It's, it's, it's slow. It's killing that religious position, that Catholicism. That Christian position is being demolished slowly. You know, we silly. But the dry bones is going to live. I'm not going to hate on Israel, even though they act in a fool. Just like they did in the scripture, just act a fool. Kill him, crucify him, joker, negro. He just did all that for you, came to rescue you. He said, I, he said, I came unto my own, and my own received me not. But as many as received him to them gave he the power to become his sons and daughters. They hollering crucify with, with, with them, with them, with them Talmudic Jews. Talmudic Jews poisoned them like we poison now. The Talmudic Jews is the one that had the Bible schools back then. Well, the Talmudic Jews own the Bibles right now and the media. All the books and all the day you go to go to that crap and you're gonna come out with some crazy doctrine. Having him looking all like <laughs> anyway. Caesar boys, you ain't running around here. That ain't the Messiah. He didn't look like that. He was totally the opposite of that. But man, we've been baboos and we still got our little picture, don't we? Oh boy. But we're gonna wake up. And I love Israel. And and I love I love all people. But we need to be rescued. We so churched out, we don't even know we need to be rescued no more. It don't matter. They just shoot your son down all in the street and go on paid vacation. It don't matter. You, you, all you need is Jesus. It don't matter. Tell him that. <laughs> anyway.
Not my will. Will of the flesh. Not my will. That's what I'm teaching tonight, y'all. That was the intermission. Not my will. Not my, I can't do me. Because the most high is going to get me if I do me. I can't, I can't serve my flesh and him. I would to just cut past for me. We all would pick a little easier route to be saved, wouldn't we? I would to just cut past for me, but not my will. I can't mess with me. If I mess with me, I'm going to be cussing and still claiming him. I'm going to be screwing and still claiming him. I'm going to live in lawlessness. We don't even know who we are, and we sure don't act like the way we supposed to and, and how uh, what the Most High had in mind. That's why he kicked our butt super bad this time. This was like the slavery of all slaveries. This, this was, and it still ain't over. We still here. We still don't know. We, we, our credit tore up. We can't never have nothing. We didn't have Tulsa, Oklahoma. They didn't burnt that down. That ain't the only place. They, they didn't kill whole cities at a time. Now they got concentration camps all around. They setting us up right now. Trump is setting it up like something on a whole nother level right now. I'm telling you. You believe that joker, man. Man, I'm telling you. Cotton picking. His boy said, man, it's cotton picking. Important that you go vote. Cotton picking? What you got planned for us? You better get saved, y'all. And how you get saved is not my will. You better go take a cold shower and keep your little underclothes on with your little hot self. It's your little sexy self. You need to be sexy. You need to be yolly. <laughs> you sitting up here with them backwards pictures. Man, go on with all that, man. What's wrong with you? What you advertising? Ain't you supposed to be yolly? What are you doing? You tripping. You trying to seduce somebody? What you doing? Taking pictures with your butt? What you get your butt doing? It? Where you get that from? I would to this cup pass for me. I want to take butt pictures. I would to this cup pass for me. He said, no, you can't take. Quit taking butt pictures. Quit. Cut that out. Go delete it. It's your crazy self. And go get saved. You want somebody to spank you? If it be possible, let this cup pass from me. I want to get drunk. I want to get high. I want to go to the club. It's going to be boring serving him. I would that this cup pass from me. The wages of sin is death. He's trying to save your life. You understand that? And this life is super short. It appears for a moment and vanishes away. And the suffering of this life can be compared to what he got for you if you wake up. We're running out of time, y'all. If it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Most high be like, who my love, I chastise. I can't let you do you. You need to start listening to the word so you can change. Because right now you are religious as heck. And there's nothing like a religious person with a filthy mouth and a filthy attitude claiming the most high and you act just like the devil's child. And don't even see it. Just all toe the heck up. If it be possible, let this cup pass from me. The standard of living this life, the standard of living this life, we be feeling like, I, I wish it wasn't like this. I would that it pass from me. And he said, no, I'm not changing the standard. I'm the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. I beat Israel down and shipped them everywhere. I, I'm still, my foot's still in their behind. But they slowly waking up. And when they really wake up, it's not going to be so much about the bloodline. Don't get it twisted. The bloodline is super important. I ain't going to shy away and start talking like these folks be talking. No, the bloodline is, in Romans, the third chapter, say what advantage is it of, of being the Yahudim? And they call it Jews, right? They jacked it. Made himself Jewish, but what what advantage of it being a Jew? It said much in every way, much in every way. It's super important, but you got to understand with the Yahudim behinds, with the black, uh, woolly hair, just like the Messiah behinds, they got their butts kicked because of sin. So you being bloodline ain't good enough, baby. He gonna keep his promise to Abraham, but you got to live it. 
He gonna come rescue his children. Christian minded folks, no, that don't matter. I didn't want to go to heaven. Make he gonna come rescue your children. You might be in heaven. What about your children? You they they gotta get shot and and and, and, and poisoned and hit with vaccination shots to give them autism and, and put a, a, a rust in their water and flint. Setting them up, and they setting up big doozy. When they come with the big, with the, the more you wake up, the more they want to round all you jokers up. I'm killing them all. That's Trump's page. You feel me? You throw rocks at us, we gonna kill you. We gonna shoot you is what he say. They setting the climate, and the number one target is Israel. That's why you better repent and quit playing. Don't you be so freaky that the that 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 that, that the Most High let Trump have you behind. You that freaky. You ain't going to be that freaky when they start raping you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you freaky, you horny, you like, you, you want to be a, 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 a video vixen? Oh, they're going to be licking their chops on you. Them little, them little, them little jokers going to be all over you, ravishing you, and then kill you. And then they want your organs. Boy, am I preaching today some stuff, huh? Whew, I didn't plan on all this. And he went a little further, fell on his face and prayed, Oh, Father, if it be possible, well, can you, do you love the Most High enough to find out? He said, No, nah, it ain't possible. You got to go through it. You love him enough? Or if he say that, you're going to quit. I don't know then, because, mm mm, I don't know. Mm mm. Uh uh. Mm mm. I don't know. Mm mm. It don't take all that. It take all that answer. It it take all of that and more. It take it take it take you loving y'all with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength to make it. Because if you don't, you're gonna meet something or somebody that's gonna take you from it. You'll never be the same after leaving the ministry like this. You wanna go to one of them fake churches now? <laughs> you got folks that lead the truth and just both comfortable in a fake church. I need a fake church. I want to hear the choir. I can't take this. I hear you. If it were possible, well, it ain't. Let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, this is the state of mind we got to have, then I'm going to let y'all go. Real talk. Nevertheless, not as I will. No, don't let me off the hook. Save me. If if the circumstance is purifying me, because I got to admit, I need some work. So if the circumstance is working on me, if it's causing me to, 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 to cast my cares upon him knowing he cared, if it's causing me to seek those things which are above and not things on the earth, let it stay. You're going to hear me say, ouch. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy is coming in the morning. I might be crying now, but I got to cry right. I got to pay for the sins of my forefathers. And all the way down to my own. And I got to fight against the wickedness that they laid. And I got to fight against the wickedness of my own. And I want to be saved. No, I don't change the circumstances. If it was possible, I say change it. But it's impossible. I need the fire, baptizing the fire so I can be saved, so I can come out as pure gold. That's why I can count it all joy when I fall into diverse temptation knowing this because I know something. That the trying of my faith worketh patience. And he said, let patience have a perfect work that it may be perfect and entire, lacking nothing. I can't afford to lack love, forgiveness, peace. I can't, I can't afford not to be the one that here, you take it, get here. I'll help you. You all right? You need something? Man, if I got it, you got it. I'm not I'm not hating. Forget that. I'm all in that you might win. Come on, somebody. We gotta we gotta not my will, y'all. You we gotta we gotta not my will, but thy will be done. We gotta stop playing church. This religious crap. Folks coming with their little religious a resume in Matthew 7 and 21. He ain't going for it. He gonna say, depart from me, ye that work lawlessness. You, you sinful. You a trip. 
it's weird when somebody acting all crazy and then holler uh, 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 about the most high. It sounds insane. What if I just start cussing right now after all this preaching I'm doing? You'd be like, what is wrong with this dude? Didn't he just preach this and say this and say this? And not the same mouth he going to say that? Not my will. Don't you don't know, y'all don't want to see me. I don't want to see me. I ain't talking about I'm not even saying I'm a bad dude. You just don't want to see me because I ain't talking about nothing. What I'm gonna do? Satisfy my flesh on you and kill your soul? Is that what I'm gonna do? So I can do I'm gonna do me, trick you. I know the call on my life, I know the word the most high gave me, but I'd rather spank you with your little fine self. Is that what I'm gonna do? Got me messed the heck up. Not my will. You got me messed up for real. <laughs> not my will. I'm not finna. I'm not finna gun you down or hit you with some of these moves I got up under my belt. For what? Nah, I'm cool. Not my will. Thy will be done. You call the shot. I need to. I need to quit tripping and die. I want to be I want to be saved. I do. I really do. I want to be saved. If you ain't going to pray for yourself, pray for me. Cuz I want to be saved. Let's pray. Spirit of the most high, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you transparent and honest. Um, we apologize for any sins that we've committed against you, um, including myself, and I just want to be saved. I need you, whatever whatever you got to do, there's circumstances that I would, that they pass from me and be different, but um, you know what you're doing. You even was a carpenter when you hit the planet because you definitely won in the sky. Show up and show out. Do what only you can do in your children in these last evil days. Continue the purification process, and we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forevermore, because we'll be ever, forever, forever in your debt. You are masterful, and thank you for loving us. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all. That was the lesson, y'all. Man, I want to be saved. That ain't saying I ain't saved. Don't get it twisted. But I want to be. I'd willingly choose him. Not only is he worthy, but it's worth it. If the lesson blessed you, hit the share button, y'all. Quit tripping with your little platforms if you want to share it with the most high. All it's going to do is let other people see who you identify with, and that's him. Let let somebody else that you love hear the truth you listen to if you believe it's true. Come on, y'all. Push the share button. If this lesson or this ministry, more of what I'm talking about, if the ministry is blessing you and y'all lead you to uh, support the ministry, then do it. All you got to do is go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D E R R I C K. M-A-N-N-5857 at yahoo.com. And if y'all want to chop it up for a minute, I'm at 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Y'all, 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 thanks for hanging out. Please pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom because I'm gone. <laughs>